Gritty, mean and violent. From Severin Films comes Siege, which could be one of my favourite releases of the year. And it feels much akin to Carpenter's Assault in Precinct 13. It's a Canucksploitation movie and it is wonderful. I love the idea behind this whole movie. Police are going on a strike, but these guys have warped sensibilities, violent sensibilities. They have weapons and no conscience, it seems. And when a couple of these guys burst into a bar and decide to just torment the patrons, things get out of hand, a bunch of people end up dead. If he's dead, they might blame us. Who might blame us? They'll all say you pushed him. That's second degree. Shut up, Ian. And we're all in this together. And someone ends up in the run, chased by these maniacs, managing to find refuge in a small apartment block. The residents hole up as a small army of militants try to attack to kill these people so there's no evidence to their transgressions. <laughs> said they had a rifle. Yeah, Korean War 303, I think. It's wonderfully simple and set up and it's executed so terrifically well. We have our group of characters within the building who have enough traits and talent who know this building well enough to really kind of defend themselves. Luckily enough, there's a couple of people that know some self-defense uh, things and have weapons just kicking about their house. The real threat comes in the form of the militants. <laughs> I got the bastard! I got him too. This group of people, these people that seem to be robbed of any kind of morality or conscience. These are just things to be brutalised and destroyed and they are very, very well armed and they are going to kill everybody if they can get their hands on it. It becomes a siege, it becomes a movie where the bad guys are outside surrounding this apartment block, the people inside are terrified, struggling to deal with what's happening with no help coming whatsoever. It's a standoff, people will die, and it will be super exciting all the way through. Now. I love uh, the kind of music in this one, the look, the characters, that gritty, horrible feeling to it. It's a brutal movie. People are bludgeoned, uh, destroyed, eviscerated, uh, just executed at a whim. <laughs> and it feels uh, very kind of gritty and, and, and dark uh, and mean. It's a mean kind of movie. The characters themselves aren't really given a, a lot of time to really grow. They're thrown into this situation. Because the situation is so pressure-filled, you learn a lot about the characters. Um, you learn about what strengths they have, what weaknesses, how they're going to help defend themselves along the way, uh, this battle that they're about to uh, go through. And it becomes um, a little bit of a war inside of the apartment block as they, they, they none of them want to be within this situation. Some of them are more capable of handling this situation than others and it becomes a fight to the death. I utterly loved Siege. From the moment it started to the moment it ends, it was just captivating. It had wonderful characters, wonderful uh, situation, plot and story that just ticked all the boxes. From an exploitation point of view, from a fan of these kind of movies, this was great. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. I see a target. The fact that it was so akin to Assault and Precinct 13, not a similar movie, but a similar tone and feeling to it was wonderful. Um, and it would make a perfect double bill with that film. I, I 
can't rave about this movie highly enough. I loved the look, the staging, the empty streets at night, the kind of uh, infrared weapon that the guys are using to see into the building to figure out how many are there, the, the, the overly confident and just hillbillish nature of some of the bad guys as they were having utter glee in hunting and killing people. It was just, it was horrifying, but you knew that they were going to get their comeuppance at some point, so you were just patiently waiting on that to happen. Um, and yeah, yeah, Siege, concise, to the point, doesn't drag, has exciting moments and great characters, has some really violent moments, and is one of those movies that you really got to wonder how you haven't heard of Siege before. An absolute cracker of a movie, one of my favourite discoveries this year, one that I urge you, if you get the chance to see, definitely do it. I hope it gets a UK release. If you can, import it from Severin. Absolutely worthwhile. I'd love to know your thoughts on the film. As always, there's more videos up here that you can check out if you want to see more of my content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video. It really helps me uh, get more eyes on my content, which is hopefully a good thing. And of course, you can join the membership program or the Patreon program if you want to support me. It's all appreciated. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time.